of Salt Lake City at Alpine Tiny Homes and I'm going to show you guys one of their home models they have here on site called the Cheaton. Right below that, you've got storage for some food, all of your kitchen pots and pans and necessities. You can probably put a trash can under there. You have space for a full oven and stovetop, which is included in this model, but it's just not in here at this moment. Right above the range, you have space for a few more kitchen items. You have a really big space for pantry items. So we've got three different shelves here. You can put food, you can put more pots and pans, whatever you need to put in there. And then even more storage space right above that. And this entire pantry area is really deep, so you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Right next to the pantry space, you've got a residential sized fridge. There's a couple of chairs and a little eating space right there, but this particular model is just set for two. This is where I would prepare food because there's not a whole lot of counter space over by the sink, so this is kind of your main counter space. Moving into the bathroom, you've got a really pretty white sink. Right below it, you've got storage for all of your bathroom necessities, and you see it's the granite top again, which is really nice. You have your Ecotemp on-demand hot water heater and a toilet right next to it. If we lived in this tiny home, we would probably do a composting toilet. I'd also like to point out that both the black and the gray water storage tanks are 45 gallons. There is no fresh water storage tank but it's completely customizable, so I'm sure you can make that happen if you wish. Across from the toilet, you have your shower. It's actually a really good sized shower, especially for a tiny home. Right next to the shower, you have a full washer dryer system. So it's just one little guy that does both. It's pretty tiny. You might be doing laundry for a couple of days, but it definitely gets the job done. You've got a really nice space here for a laundry hamper, closet room. This is the only closet hanging area in the entire house. So it'll basically just hang your necessities. The drawer here are made from wood and they're held by piping which gives it a really cute modern look and more storage space for laundry necessities, more bathroom goodies, or whatever you want. So on the other side of the tiny home, we're in the living room area. You have a full entertainment system with shelving all across the other side of the TV and right below. We would probably use this to store clothes, shoes, and I would get little cubbies to put in these squares that you can put your clothes so it doesn't look as noticeable that your closet is technically in the living room, but it's kind of the only closed storage space, so it's perfect for that. Another thing we would probably do, and this is just personal preference, is we don't really need a TV, so we would take that out and put a whole desk area in right there because it's the perfect space for that. You've got your couch, nice big couch area. It's really cozy. You can also take the couch out if you don't want a couch, put in lounge chairs, whatever. So how the ladder works is, it's located kind of on the left, right next to the kitchen countertop. You slide it out like so, and then you just hook it in place, and you've got a ladder. a super cozy little loft area but perfect just for sleeping. What I really like is the ceiling is really low but they did a cutout where your head would go. Also it's glass so it's a window so when you're sleeping the sun comes in right there and it's really nice. On the other side of the bed there's a couple outlets and there's room to put some books or whatever whatever bedroom things you want. To put the ladder back in you just do the exact same thing. You unlock it hold it up and you push it over. It's super easy and lightweight, like anyone could definitely do that. Across the way, back above where the bathroom and laundry area is, we have loft number two. Same thing, you slide the ladder out, lock it in place, and you're good to go. So loft number two is a little bit tinier than the first one. I would definitely use this as a guest room, but it will get the job done. You could sleep in here, there's room for clothes, even books, whatever and it's cozy. Overall, I would say that this is probably one of my favorite tiny home models that I've ever seen. I really like the interior and the granite pretty much sold me, and we would definitely live here. Thanks again for watching, guys, and for more tiny home videos, check us out on tinyhome.tours.